Aim, let's see what we can do with another challenger. Would you sign in, please, sir? Art. Art Gajor. That's right. Uh, you're, where from, Mr. Gajor? I'm from Chicago. Chicago. Well, it's nice to have somebody here from Chicago to help us get the year off to a good start. Um, would you go over and meet the panel and then come on over and join me, please? May I feel your muscles? Oh, surely. <laughs> what time are you tired? Just cut an oar? Just in design. Oh. Would you like to feel my muscle? <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Oh, I think, uh... All right. <laughs> Mr. Gazer, will you come over here and join me, please? And uh, we'll get to the free guess that the panel gets as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses with Mr. Bennett, sir. I think Mr. Gashaw is an interior decorator. An interior decorator, Miss Francis. I think Mr. Gashaw writes singing commercials. Mr. Allen. I think he manages one of the IGA stores in Chicago. Miss Kilgallen. He's a clarinet player. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Gashaw, and at the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. I can't understand why people are so interested in what you do, Mr. Beja, but the rules, I think, are known to you. Every no answer you give the panel costs the panel five dollars. We keep the record of all that right up here. Ten, ten no's and you won the game. Well, Mr. Geja is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with um, Steve Allen. Mr. Geja, uh, is there a product, product of any kind connected with what you do? Yes. Uh, is it something that I might possibly be able to use? Yes. Might I have uh, one or more of these in my home? Yes. Yeah, you might. I can't figure out why it's funny if I'd use it. Is this possibly something that I could use uh, fairly regularly? Aside from its usefulness, since it seems to be so amusing, does it uh, provide any kind of enjoyment or <laughs> entertainment or pleasure of any kind? Yes. It might be found in the home. Could it possibly be found, say, uh, in a corner of the living room? Yes. It could be, yeah. Is the... Uh, Entertainment that this object provides, would it be called possibly uh, primarily uh, uh, visual entertainment? Yes. Uh, if you couldn't see it, you wouldn't get much fun out of it. <laughs> if I didn't want to go out to the movies, might I sit at home and watch one of these? Yes, I'd say so. Mr. Uh, Geyser speaks with much more authority on this matter than I would dare express. But I would say if you didn't go out to the movies, it's barely possible you might sit and look at this for a while. Yeah. But I want to be the first to admit that I'm on the wrong track. <laughs> and I guess that uh, I'd be way off if I said that if you looked at one of these things long enough, you'd eventually see a Goodson Todman production. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> that could be wrong, yes. We'll give you a no on that. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, uh, is this something that could be found in anybody's home, not just Steve's? Yes. Uh, it's possible that it could be found in, in a great many homes, let's put it that way. Uh, is it a luxury rather than a necessity of life? <laughs> there are certain aspects of the product under discussion which might be determined to have certain necessary qualifications. There are other aspects which would be considered luxury. Qualified yet? You get a qualified yet. Right. Uh, is it smaller than a bread box? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. But it's bigger than a pill box. <laughs> mm, yes, you couldn't get it into a pill box, I wouldn't think no. you do. No. Is this thing, or has it ever been alive? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it has not been alive. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. 
I was just thinking, I, I've heard of geisha girls. This is the first geisha <laughs> boy I've come across in a long time. I've been, been taking up my time thinking of that. Uh, this thing is absolutely inanimate, in other words, that you're connected with. Yes. Is it made of any kind of material? Yes. Would you describe it as an article, possibly of furniture or decoration in the house? It's two points. One, material we take, we presume to mean matter of some kind. Two, it could be considered decorative, I would think, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. it could be considered decorative. It is not made of some kind of cloth, I presume. Then. It is not made of cloth. Yes, it is not made of cloth, no. <laughs> Is it made of uh, any kind of, is there any metal in the construction of this? Yes. Is it uh, connected? Dorothy looks very bright at this point. Don't, don't, don't say it yet. You finish. Uh, does this thing, by any chance, uh, have any moving parts? Yes. <laughs> Is this used uh, for amusement of any kind? Mm, no, I don't think so. Not basically. That's three down and seven to go. I'm going to give you one more minute on this one. Miss Francis. Uh, did you say that this does not or could not hold anything alive? Did, uh, is that correct? It is inanimate as a... Uh, uh, the product itself is inanimate, but uh, did you also say that nothing alive would ever be in this object? No, we didn't say that. Would you like to ask that question? I may just as well. You've trapped me. <laughs> Can anything alive go inside of this object? That would make it four down and six to go. <laughs> We've got about 40 seconds. Steve out. It's a household furnishing, huh? Well, in a way. In a way. What's so funny about a household furnishing? <laughs> what are you laughing at out there? You know something. Uh, could you buy this at a department store? Could you buy this at a department store? A meaningless question. I would think not. That's five down and five to go, and I'm going to call the whistle on the basis of the passage of time, and Mr. Gage will get the full prize, because you see, he sells Marilyn Monroe calendars. And now thanks for bringing a very interesting occupation to What's My Line. Thank you very much, sir. All right, in just a moment, we'll meet tonight.